I'll try to bring in very four, five minutes a funding agency perspective and how capacity building needs to be developed in the, you know, the university ecosystem, which is very, very critical. And what has already been said, I think I support each and every word of what has been said, starting from Professor Paul, and he gave examples of our mentors as well, Professor Bhan, who has literally mentored us to support innovation ecosystem in this country and the establishment of various organizations like BIRAC. I'll start with an example of Professor Bhan, when I think Dr. Mitra is also here, the CEO of uh, Welcome Plus DBT India Alliance. And when, uh, and I was, I had the privilege of uh, working at the backstage when the Alliance was born. Uh, Dr. Bhan that time organized, when the Alliance was born in 2008, 10th of September, 9th of September, and uh, the idea was to build capacities in the research ecosystem in this country, especially in the junior career research, which Dr. Bhan was very passionate about to build capacities. And what uh, uh, Madam Madhuri also talked about, to build that capacity at that level, from undergrad to postgrad to the research. And the alliance was almost two years old, and we were not attracting physician scientists into the alliance ecosystem. So Dr. Bhan and then the head of Welcome Trust, Sir Mark Walpott, said, what is the problem? Why we are not getting uh, you know, clinical researchers applying for the Alliance map? So he said, let us organize a brainstorming session at the, uh, you know, the conference room of Ames. Uh, brainstorming session was organized. Uh, Dr. Ma Sir Mark Walpott flew in from London. And Dr. Bhan uh, and Dr. Deka was, I believe, that director of Ames that time gathered all the uh, institute directors from PGIMS to JIPMER to KGMIMS, uh, all leading medical schools in one room. And why do you apply any application clinical scientist? Ka nahi aara? So the answer came out, sir, what do you expect from us? Morning, 7.30, you are asked, you ask us to open the OPDs. We are sitting in the OPDs till 12 o'clock, still overflowing patients. Go back, have a quick lunch come back, take rounds of our wards, come back at 4.30 to our rooms, then you ask us to write grant application, and these funding agencies will ask, you see SOEs every three, four months, six months, milestone report, ye presentation dene a jau, wo presentation dene a jau. You know, and one more thing was pointed out, the less number of faculties in the government setups. You know, a lot of institutes were working at below faculty, not every recruitment was. We are overworked, we are stressed, and how you are asking us. So I think that was a big problem that time, which was, you know, it was echoed in that room. And that time, I think, Dr. Mitra will talk about it in his session as well. You know, a special career for physician scientists with DBT Welcome Trust Alliance uh, wrote Mark Darshi Fellows and other things, was carved out that the application form should not be too long. It should be short two, three pages. You should not ask, you know, petty funding agency questions, UCSC, the utilization, something like that needs to be streamlined to literally enable the research capacities at the universities, at the research institutes, and the clinical settings level so that we can attract these right people to do science-based innovation to take it to the next level. You know, the innovation has to be science-driven, as was shown by everybody of us, and, you know, when I do my grant, right, the science is 60% of the innovation cycle. 40% is rest of the other things like the regulatory issues, the clinical plan, the business plan, the IP issues, the exit strategy and all the things. But science needs to be built at the university and the research institute level. Other things literally handhold you to the next level. So the second thing which was pointed out by all of you and also Professor Paul, and Dr. Bhan always used to say 360 degree innovation cycle. He used to coin, uh, came, uh, say, say these words. Because innovation, and that what uh, Professor Madhuri also talked about, that we can't work in silos. That is one of the important things we should always note. You have to have everybody talking to each other. Uh, a basic scientist needs to talk to a clinician, to a biomedical engineer, to a lawyer to understand the IP issues, to a finance, a finance expert to understand the outcome or the public uh, market push of the, of the innovation which needs, any innovation which needs to uh, come out and has to have a potential to be de-risked and take it into a level where it can be exploited has to have a market pull and push mechanism as well. So these things a basic scientist will not have time and is not supposed to think. He needs to literally build teams around that and that what in the funding agency, we always look for teams to be supported for innovation building. Finally, I will talk about that funding is not a, at a problem in our country right now. I'm telling you with full confidence, 
I have my colleagues, Harish sitting here from the Gates Foundation here, Dr. Moitra is sitting, uh, sitting here, and I think funding has not been a problem. I think it should be echoed by you also, sir. You have been sitting in a lot of our funding committees. You know, fun, but good team, good, and Madam is also part of our apex and everything that she looks at, a lot of our proposal. So I think funding is but good team, which has right address to a right unmet need, a right solution to take it forward, and has a good exit strategy into it, is needs to be supported. So we should always look forward, and I will take what Madam in his, on her life said, you have to have right mentors, great attributes to take, a well thought of program to take in forward, and your passion. I think if you follow this good team, I think we are not far ahead to build strong capacities at university levels for, to enable the innovation ecosystem in our country. Thank you very much.